Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by again. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I get this look right here, which is my everyday natural makeup routine. Um, these are the products that I love to use on a day-to-day -day basis or like when I really need to make sure that my skin looks really good but I don't look like I have a ton of makeup on. Um, these are my go-to products and I absolutely love them. So I'm going to share all these products and techniques I use on an everyday basis with you guys. It's also going to be a routine that you guys would love for like going to school or work because it's super fast and it requires like minimal tools so you can like literally use like one brush for everything and it's going to be really easy to complete. So I'm super excited to share all of the products I use with you guys. This routine is not only natural looking um, but it's also super long lasting. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to love it and if you're struggling with an everyday routine that you know you can't really sort of nail down then definitely stay tuned and we're going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. So first thing first, we're obviously going to prime and I'm using the Too Faced Hangover X. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just because it's really going to help to take away all this tiredness and darkness and I'm just going to dot it around. Just really like get it in the areas where I obviously want coverage. So I'm just going to blend this out and, and I'm just using a uh, like e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. And using big foundation brushes are key for me for an everyday look because I don't like spending a lot of time. I enjoy my sleep. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation. Um, just because I feel like it actually really gave me a lightweight feel. So even if I wear this foundation, uh, my skin's going to feel like it's breathable and it doesn't have a lot of makeup. And plus, it's like a light to medium coverage, so it's really good for an everyday look. And it's matte, so it's going to last long. So I'm just going to take that foundation and I'm just going to apply it to my face. So again, I'm just going to take the same brush. And I'm just going to blend it through. So at this point, you have your foundation and concealer on. You probably don't need to set it because both of the products I used are, like, apparently self-setting. But because I like the feeling of, like, having dry and, like, weightless skin, um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Just because that's really going to help, like, soak up any, like, tacky feeling that the foundation may have left. So I'm just going to pick some up on a loose powder brush. I'm not going to do any like serious baking or anything, but I'm just going to go under my eyes and just lightly dust it over my eyes as well. just want to set the concealer areas. So that's done. Now we're going to help these poor souls right here. Um, and honestly, for an everyday brow routine, like I just care about one thing and one thing only, and that's just making my brows look as nice as possible using the least amount of time. So my favorite product to do that is the NYX Brow Mascara because I can be messy with it and I can just clean it up after with a concealer because it's a cream product so it's really easy to wipe away. So like literally like I just go ahead and I just take it and I'll just sort of draw on my eyebrows with it. So sometimes if I want more coverage I'll take like the end of the wand and I'll just sort of color in the hairs here. So then in that case, I'm just going to take my MAC, my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm just going to take that on a small brush, like a synthetic brush, and I'm just going to clean up my brows. And we're just going to do it very lightly, just under. And you can see like the product literally just like wipes away so easily. To finish the brows off, I'm going to take some of my Anastasia brow gel, and guys, again, like, this is like super glue for your eye eyebrows, like, the NYX mascara is already going to do a great job at keeping your eyebrows on all day, but adding this gel after is just going to really make sure that they do not move. And So next I'm going to go into adding some color to my face so that we don't look so flat. So my all-time favorite product for everyday use is Benefit's Hoola Bronzer. Um, I used to be obsessed with Too Faced 
um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, but this honestly replaced it because it's really nice and warm on my skin at least, which I love. So I honestly just take it and I load my brush in it. And instantly you can see what a difference that makes. And just because I'm lazy, I'm just going to go in with the same brush and kind of just lightly dust it on my nose, on the sides and at the bottom. And again, just same thing, just put it on my eyes. So to add like a little bit more color to my cheeks, um, I'm going to take the Stila uh, Lip and Cheek Stain. And it's in the color Passion Fruit. And it's just like a nice like, liquid product. And this again is so cool to use for every day because it actually stains your cheeks. So you're going to have that natural flush all day long. So I just like to take a little bit and I just like to put it on the apples of my cheek and then a little bit back here. And this dries quickly because it's obviously a stain. So take a brush and work fast with it. And a funny story about this, I actually, one of my good friends got it for me for my birthday. And these two are like complete Drake fans and we love the song Passion Fruit. So it's so cute because she went out of her way to find me a makeup product that was named Passion Fruit. And we didn't even know if I'd like the color or not, but honestly when I tried it, I became obsessed. Like, you can just see there, it's such a natural color. And I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's my most favorite mascara recently. It replaced my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because this one really just does the job for me. Okay, so the last uh, step that I will do for my complexion and I don't always do this step, but I've been doing it recently because I'm in love with this product, is I will highlight. So I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. And I'm going to take Mean Money and I'm just going to highlight my cheeks with it. So let's find a nice brush to do that with. So I just actually like, I'll just pick it up and I'll load it up on my brush. And then I'll just apply it to like literally the highest points of my cheek. And although like it's not that pigmented compared to Hustle Baby. Like, if you load it up, you will get some nice highlight payout. And I feel like for a daytime look, this is just perfect because, like, I'm not comfortable wearing such a bright, glittery highlight unless I'm going out. So for me, like, this is a match made in heaven. So I just like to take some under my brow bone as well. Just because I like that glow to be all over little bit on my nose, Cupid's bow, and I love highlighting my chin. So again, for my lips, um, I'll either do like a lip balm or I'll do a lipstick. Um, so I'm taking my MAC lip pencil in Strip Down, and I'm just going to wet my lips. I'm taking my Burberry Lip Velvet Long Lasting Matte Lip Color in the shade Nude 407. And it's actually almost the same shade as my lip pencil. Alright guys, so that's the final look. Just super like light, natural, everyday makeup. Um, I don't honestly go this far on an everyday basis, but if I ever want to look like super presentable or just look really fresh and natural, then this is the makeup that I do, and these are all the steps that I take. Throughout the video, like sometimes it might seem like there's a lot of steps, but honestly when you're doing it alone and you're not really talking to anybody, um, I could probably do this routine within like 12 to 15 minutes I'd say. So yeah, I actually really like it, I love the tones all combined together. And I love the way the products are making my skin feel. I feel super dry, like in a good way. Like I don't feel like I have a lot of like wet product on my face. I just hate that feeling. It's the worst. Um, but yeah, I love how my skin's looking. It looks super natural. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Um, if you haven't checked out my other videos, I'm going to leave them right here for you as I always do. Uh, so please feel free to check them out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!